Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I thought of doing something different today, and I thought I'd take a look at my favorite app in the Microsoft Store, which is the Weather app. Now, to get to the Weather app, go to your Start menu, and just scroll down until you get to W, and it's normally one of the ones right at the top of W, Weather, there you go. And what I like about this app is I find it very useful, I find it simple to use, I find the information is right there in your face, so it's easy to see what is going on. And uh, um, yeah, I use it on a daily basis. And as I said, it is one of my favorite apps in the Microsoft Store, just because it is simple and gives me the information I need. And it is very easy to use. Now we are in the home page here. And as you can see, it gives you a summary of all the weather, yeah, your temperature and wind and visibility and you know, and barometer, humidity, dew point. And if you go down a little bit, you can see here yeah, is your daily weather. So it's basically today, and then it gives you a timeline, and you can just click on the different days to get the timeline for that day. And if you scroll down, what I like about this is it gives you your sunrise, your sunset, moonrise, moonset, you know, your precipitation percentage for the day, UV index, wind speed, I like that a lot. It's just, as I said, it's in your face and it's one of the, actually the better weather apps I find um, online altogether. So, and um, that is also why I like it. You know, your, yeah, what I also like here is that it gives you your averages basically for that day in, you know, the last 30 years. So I like, yeah, you know, it's rained 23 out of 30 times on this day. I like, you know, your record high of temperature, your record low. I like looking at that as well. And if you go to the left here, you will see your maps. And this is a very handy feature when it comes to looking for rain and such, because you can see the cloud formations, you know, and I find it very useful, especially in forecasting rain. And then the next one here on the left is your news. This is all news articles pertaining to weather events and such around the world, which has got some handy little snippets and news articles to read up regarding the weather. And then this one is your historical weather, which gives you a timeline of, you know, record highs and lows and average temperatures. Um, uh, like, yeah, for this month of December, you know, the average high where I am is 23, average low is 16, record high 36, and record low is 8. Your 8 is low for this time of the year. But anyway, that was um, uh, the record low there. So this is very nice. Um, for temperature, you can get rainfall. It gives you your averages on this in the month of December for rainfall, which is also handy. Then over here is another good feature, which is the favorites. And you can add locations um, to your favorites. So you've got a good, you can just, and then you can just click on it and you can see the weather for that location. Go back to favorites. I like that. Yeah, you just um, click on the plus sign and you can add a location. Very easy to do. And then, yeah, you have your feedback where you can send Microsoft feedback. And then at the bottom, you've got your settings where you can set it to light, dark, or windows default, Fahrenheit, Celsius, def default location, or always detect location. And then if we go back to the home page, at the top here, we can refresh it. Um, we can add a favorite location, as discussed here in the favorites. And here's a very handy feature, which I like to use, and, and, and I am using at the moment, is you can pin it to your start menu. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. And if you go to my start menu, you will see here is my lifestyle. And obviously you can make this different sizes by clicking on it and going medium, wide or large. And that gives you a nice um, synopsis of the weather as you can see it changing. And I find this very useful, just short in your face. And I can see exactly what is happening with the weather in my region. Let's just go back to the app. And then you can turn off dark mode or, or turn back on. You can turn off dark mode and you can turn it back on at the top there. 
So that is a little basic overview of my favorite app in the Microsoft Store weather app. Uh, if you aren't using it already, go check it out. I think you would um, very it would be a handy um, a little app to add to your apps on your Microsoft PC. As I said, it is very um, I like the, the the simplicity of it. And I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.